Pearl Tutorial Part 60 CGI.PM Writing and Reading Cookies Set up your script like this and then we will write a cookie and then we will read it back. To write a cookie with CGI.PM we use the cookie function so Let's create a variable cookie equals CGI cookie function. Make sure you put a colon here. So attributes first of all name. So we'll call our cookie name we're going to ask for a name so and then we're going to hardwire the value mark which is my name and then we can set an expires date so let's try plus seven days And now the way to print our cookie is inside the header function. So let's create a pair of brackets for the header and create an attribute cookie equals our variable cookie. So now we've written our cookie and now to read it back let's create a variable called name equals CGI cookie and the cookie name being name. So that's how we can read our cookie back. Now let's scroll down and create a little unless else statement to read out whether the cookie's been set or if it has been set to read out the name. So Let's change this comma here to a colon. Now let's say unless name we're going to be printing cookie has been set else we will print I name so now let's save our script and upload it to your server and we will run it now the first time we run the script it will set the cookie cookie has been set and now if we refresh this page it should read out the value hi mark if we refresh this page again it'll just say hi mark and that cookie will be set now for seven days 
Now let's have a look at the cookie in the cookie editor. So here's the cookie, scriptsocket.com, the cookie name is name, the content is mark, the host is automatically put in, the path, and expires a week from today. So let's delete this cookie and let's refresh this page. Cookie has been set. Refresh again. Hi Mark. So that's how to set and read cookies with CGI.pm